Hi friends, good morning. So in the previous session, I have discussed about the problems on elevation of boiling point and uh, depression of freezing point. Two problems were completed. So let me continue the third problem. The third problem. The boiling point of water at 750 mm mercury is 99.63 degrees Celsius. How much sucrose is to be added to 500 gram of water such that it boils at 100 degrees Celsius? Molar elevation constant for water is uh, 0.52 Kelvin kg per mole. So here, this problem is based on the elevation of boiling point. Here the water is solvent. The problem number three, the solvent is solvent is water. And the solute is solute is sucrose. That is one of the dissecret. Boiling point of water at 750 mm mercury is boiling point of water is nothing but T naught to be the boiling point of pure solvent that is above 99.63 degrees Celsius. Next, how much sucrose is to be added? That is sucrose is a solute here. So, how much sucrose nothing but mass of solute we have to calculate? That is W2 we have to calculate to be added to 500 gram of water. Water is a solvent here. So, therefore, mass of water is given that is 500 gram. So, next as that it boils at. So, when the sucrose is added to water, it becomes a solution. So, that solution in the solution, the water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Nothing but that is the boiling point of solution that is Tb is equal to 100 degrees Celsius. So, all I said. In the previous class, Tb is the boiling point of solution, it is always higher than that of the boiling point of the true solvent. So, molar elevation constant is given, that is Kb. So, Kb is equal to what? 0 0.52 Kelvin kg per mole. So, this is a given problem in the form, in the form that we can calculate that. So, W2. So, before that, we have to calculate M2. M2 is the molar mass of solute, which is the solute here, sucrose. Sucrose formula C12. H22 O11. So we calculate the molar mass of the sucrose. So that is 12 into 6, 22 into 1, that is atomic mass of hydrogen, 11 into 16, that is atomic mass of uh, oxygen. So total calculate properly. So that is you get uh, so 342 gram per mole. That is the molar mass of the sucrose. So now the problem that the formula for this problem is delta Db is equal to so Kb into W2 into 1000 whole divided by m2 into w1 in grams. So here we have to calculate w2 here. So real in monopoly formula. So that is w2 is equal to, so in line of the paper number, you will see delta tb into m2 into w1 whole divided by kb into 1000. So that is equal to, so what is the value of delta tb? So delta tb calculate for the paper number, the second paper So delta tb is equal to Tb minus T naught B. That is Tb minus T naught B. So that is equal to what is the value of Tb here? Boiling point of solution that is 100 degrees Celsius minus T naught B is 99.63 degrees Celsius. So what is the remaining value? So that is 99, 100 minus 99.63, that is 0.37 degrees Celsius. That is the value of delta Tb. So once you know the delta Tb, substitute the value here. 0 0.37 degrees Celsius into M2. M2 is the molar mass of solute, that is 342 into W1, mass of the solvent, solvent mass is to be done, that is 500 gram whole divided by Kb, molar elevation constant, or it is also called as ebullioscopic constant, that is 0 0.52 into 1000. That is equal to 0 0.37 into 342 into 500. So divided by 0 0.52 into 1000. That is, we get the W2 value. So, after this calculation, so the final value is 121.673 grams. So, this is the mass of sucrose. So, that is added to 500 gram of water such that the solution boils at or water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So, this is a direct problem. So, first to delta dB calculate for Kobeko, that is the elevation of boiling point. So, to the delta dB here, M2, W1, and Kb. So, finally, we will get 121.673 gram. Now, sucrose is added to uh, 500 gram of water, thus that it boils at 100 degree Celsius. So, that's about the three mass problem, the problem number three. So, let me move on to the problem number four. 
Okay, so this is the problem based on depression of between point of the solvent. So here, calculate the mass of ascorbic acid. That is ascorbic acid, nothing but vitamin C. Formula C6H8O6 to be dissolved in 75 gram of acetic acid. So here, the vitamin C is dissolved in acetic acid. Therefore, acetic acid becomes solvent. Vitamin C is a solute. It should be lowest its freezing point. And then solute and solvent is the H2 freezing point. That is depression of freezing point 1.5 degrees Celsius. Trust Karmagra. And after that, you have a value. What you have to calculate? What amount of the mass of carboxyl, uh, that is asc ascorbic acid, is added to the acetic acid to lower the freezing point 1.5 degrees Celsius? This is based on uh, depression of freezing point of uh, solvent. Let me collect the data. Problem number 4. Calculate the mass of ascorbic acid. First of all, vitamin C. Vitamin C that is acts as solute in this problem and it is a solvent here. So solvent is acetic acid. Acetic acid is acts as solvent. Okay, calculate the mass of ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid mass of the carry vehicle and the nothing but mass of solute we have to find out. To be dissolved in 75 comma of acetic acid. Acetic acid is a solvent here. Mass of acetic acid W1 is equal to 75 gram. So that it lowers its freezing point. Nothing but depression of freezing point. Depression of freezing point is nothing but delta T of that is equal to how much? 1.5 degrees Celsius. So and also they give the KM that is molar depression constant or cryoscopic constant that is 3.9 Kelvin kg per mole. So before that, we have to calculate M2 here. M2 is the polar mass of solute, which is a solute in the given problem. In the given problem, vitamin C is the solute. So it is the formula here. That is C6H8O6. So that is C6H8O6. So calculate for today. So 6 into atomic mass of carbon, that is 12, plus 8 into atomic mass of hydrogen 1, plus 6 into atomic mass of oxygen 60. That is equal to 72 plus 8 ones are 8 plus 16 6 are 96 are. So total value that is 176, 176 gram per mole that is the molar mass of solute. So now, so what is the formula for uh, depression of freezing point? Very simple, delta T of Tb will get delta T of Ilyan that is KF. Simple. Delta T is equal to KF into W2 into 1000 by M2 into W1 in grams. Our intention is to calculate mass of solute here. Mass of solute. So therefore, delta Tb is the delta T of delta T of into M2 into W1 divided by KF on the power weekly. So KF into 1000. Now substitute the values here. So the given values, delta T of depression of freezing point is given, that is 1.5 degrees Celsius into molar mass of solute that is 176 gram per mole 176 gram per mole W1 mass of the solvent that is about 75 divided by KF value is given molar depression constant that is 3.9 Kelvin kg per mole into 1000 so that's about the given problem so now 1.5 into 176 into 75 is about 19,800 divided by here we get 3,900. When you calculate the 19,800 divided by 3,900, we get 5.076. That is mass of solute that is added to 75 gram of the benzene. So 75 gram of the acetic acid. Sorry, acetic acid. So to get the to lower the freezing point about 1.5 degrees Celsius. And remember, W is the mass of solute. So mass is measured in grams. So that is about 5.076 gram is the mass of solute that is added to 75 gram of acetic acid. So lowest to lowest the freezing point at about 1.5 degrees Celsius. That is the problem based on depression of freezing point. So you have the right. Okay. So one the next problem, problem number five. Again, this is based on depression of freezing point. 45 gram of ethylene glycol P2H6O2 is mixed with 600 gram of water. 
what you have to calculate? Calculate the freezing point depression, nothing but delta T of you have to calculate. And the second, that is P, the freezing point of solution. T naught F is the freezing point of fuse solvent, and E F is the freezing point of solution. So given K F value, that is molar depression constant or cryoscopy constant, that is 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole. Again, the problem is based on depression of freezing point. So now that is the data, which is a solution which is a solvent here. Problem number five. Problem number five. Forty-five gram of ethylene glycol is mixed with the different gum water. Ethylene glycol is nothing but alpha. So formula CH two OH. CH two OH. This is ethylene glycol. Formula is that C two H six are that the water water that is the molecule are given in the problem. So that is dissolved in water. Remember, all gums are dissolved in water. Now the water is acting as solvent. Because there is a formation of hydrogen bonding with water, alcohols easily forms the hydrogen bonding with water, hence they easily dissolves in the water. So in the given problem, so solute is solute is ethylene glycol, ethylene glycol, and the solvent is solvent is water. So the data, forty-five gram of ethylene glycol on the table, and the solute. Mass of solute that is W2 is equal to 45 gram. That is this mixer with the 600 gram of water. That is the mass of solvent. That is W1. That is 600 gram. Solvent refer for one. Uh, two refer for solute. Calculate the freezing point depression under it. That is we have to calculate delta T. That is A. And one more you have to calculate B. That is boiling sorry freezing point of solution. That is T. You have to calculate. T naught of is the freezing point of the two solvent gas. So and also they have given the other data that is Kf. So Kf is equal to how much? That is 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole. So before that we have to calculate M2 first. M2 is nothing but molar mass of solute. So which is a solute of ethylene glycol. So ethylene glycol formula will be there. So that is C2H6O2. So molecular formula C2H6O2. Let's go ahead. C two H six O two carbon two into twelve plus six into one plus two into sixteen. That is two into atomic mass of carbon, six into atomic mass of hydrogen, two into atomic mass of oxygen. That is equal to twelve to zero twenty four plus six plus thirty two. That is equal to twenty four plus six. That is thirty. Thirty plus thirty two. That is sixty two gram per mole is the molar mass of solute. That is the ethylene glycol. That is the molar mass of solute. So next, we have to calculate delta T of it. So the formula delta T of is equal to K of into molarity. Molarity is W two into thousand divided by M two into W one in grams. So that is equal to So what is the value of Kf here? So Kf is equal to 1.86 into W2 value is 45 into 1000 whole divided by M2 molar mass of solute that is 62 gram per mole and W1 mass of the solvent that is 600. So calculate 1.86 into 45 into 1000 that is 83700. Divided by 62 into 600, so 600 into 62, that is 37,200. So, if you calculate this, you will get the value of so 2.25. That is the value of delta T. So, again in the previous class, I said so that is delta T for delta T is the difference. So, if you take it in the degree Celsius, why calculate the T F or T naught? If you take it in the degree Celsius, it's well. So in the first degree Celsius, the one thing difference we have to take out of it. Difference we have to take out of it. What the calculation we have to do? Can we continue to make that? Degree Celsius is not to be carried out. Delta T of carry money. So one day that is A. Next one is B. That is B is we have to calculate T of that is the freezing point of solution. So delta T of is not equal T naught of minus T of. Always the freezing point of the fuel solvent is higher than the freezing point of solution. But in reverse of boiling point, so boiling point of solution is not equal to solvent in the gas state. But freezing point, so solvent in gas state, the solution is coming. So T naught of minus T of is equal to 2.25 degrees Celsius. 
So orientation is to calculate here. T of y greater than zero means that that is become positive. So that is equal. Here we have y two. So three naught is coming here to be. So two point two five. The first letter is that is become two minus two point two five degrees Celsius. So the uh, the concept is two point two five degrees Celsius. Again, our T naught is coming here to be. That is degrees Celsius to be calculated. What is the value of T naught here to be? So T naught is coming to be like. So T naught is coming to be. T naught a of is equal. So which is solving your water. So what is the freezing point of pure water? That is about zero degrees Celsius. Zero degrees Celsius. So therefore, zero degrees Celsius minus two point two five degrees Celsius. Therefore, T M is equal to minus two point two five degrees Celsius. So in correct way, yeah, of course, zero degrees Celsius is the freezing point of pure water. When we add solute into the water, what happens to freezing point? That will be decreases. Decreases nothing but that will be less than zero. Less than zero is nothing but that will be negative. So that is boiling point of solution minus 2.25 degrees Celsius. Other than Kelvin, I'm going to take another one. So we think about the Kelvin value, right? So that is T naught F minus T F is equal to 2.25 Kelvin. This is Kelvin number one. So T F is equal to another one. T naught F minus 2.25 Kelvin. That is equal. T naught F name do we take? So zero degrees Celsius is nothing but 273.15 Kelvin. So you can substitute for one hundred two seventy three point one five Kelvin minus two point two five two. So you know the minus one point two seventy two seventy point nine Kelvin per minute. Two seventy point nine Kelvin. That is the T M value. So the value correct the answer one hundred. So R R will be the correct one. So you can correct another project one. Minus two point two five degrees Celsius. Is that Kelvin is correct one. So you can correct one. So degrees Celsius plus two seventy three are correct. So it's today minus 2.25 degrees Celsius plus a number of equal 273.15 Kelvin. If positive is there, negative is there, it is there. Minus is there, so finally definitely we get a 273.9 Kelvin. So if you know what I'm talking about, if there is a degree Celsius at the one that is, so again can be calculated. So other one degree Celsius at the one that is there. In case Kelvin at the one that is, Kelvin at the calculation at the one that is there. So we have to add more. Okay. So that's about the freezing point of the solution in a given problem. So ये डेल्टा पी ऑफ़, so that is about two point two five degrees Celsius. That's the difference. So next up, पी ऑफ़ यहाँ पे क्या लिखते हैं? पी ऑफ़ शुड बी लेस दें जीरो. एक अंदर अभी वाटर तो बनी हुई है, तो फ्रीजिंग पार्ट इस चलता है, जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस से चलता है. सालू तो आप तरफ फ्रीजिंग पार्ट करना आप देखो, so that should be less than zero, nothing but negative. That is पी ऑफ़ इस इक्वल � Problem number six. So what's the problem? One gram of non-alcoholic solute dissolved in 50 gram of benzene lowered the freezing point of benzene by 0.4 Kelvin. The freezing point depression constant of benzene is 5.12 Kelvin kg per mole. Find out the molar mass of solute. This is the problem based on the depression of freezing point. So that is collect the data. Problem number six. One gram of non-electrolyte solute under it. That is, mass of solute is equal to one gram. This one is fifty gram of benzene. So the fifty gram of benzene will dissolve more. Because in under that, for example, the benzene under it, that is because we solve it. So therefore, solvent mass put it under mass of solvent is equal to how much? Fifty gram. So when we add the solute electrolyte into the 50 gram of benzene, nothing but the solvent. What happens to the freezing point? That will be decreases. How much is there? Are decreases. That is about 0.4 Kelvin. So in the condition of the delta T of is equal to what is it? 4 Kelvin under the condition. Sorry, 0.4 Kelvin. 0.4 Kelvin. The freezing point depression constant here. That is K F. That is molar depression constant. That is how much? 5.12 Kelvin kg per molar. Then what you have to calculate? Find the molar mass of solute. That is you have to calculate M2. So K F is given. Delta T is given. W2 W1 is given. Now you can calculate that M2. So then for some of the values, this is a direct problem. So the formula we are in one of the orientation is to calculate M2 here. So therefore what happens? M2 is equal to, it will be our numerator to how many? 
जो डिनोमिनेटर से सो दैट वन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू थ्री इनटू डब्ल्यू टू इनटू थाउजेंड होल डिवाइड बाय एंटर टीएम इनटू डब्ल्यू वन इंटरेस्ट ओके सब जो दरारिस उन्हें जब लेफ्ट स्क्वायर इज इक्वल तो दरी इस फाइव पॉइंट वन टू इनटू डब्ल्यू जो इस वन ग्राम इनटू थाउजेंड होल डिवाइड बाय एंटर टीएम इज गिवन दरी इस into W1 is given, that is 50. So the 5.12 into 1 into 1000, that is 5120 divided by 0.4 divided by 50. So 0.4 divided by 50, that is 20. That is equal to how much? 256 gram per molar. That is molecular or molar mass of solution. So 5.12 into 1 into 1000. So 5.12 into 1000 is uh, 5120 divided by 0.4 into 50. That is 20. So calculate what is greater? 256 gram per mole. So that is the molar mass of solute. Solute is molar mass in the That is gram per mole is the minute. So that is the mass question. That is the problem number 6. Next. Seventh. 2 gram of benzoic acid. That is C6H5COH dissolved in 25 gram of benzene shows a depression of freezing point equal to 1.62 Kelvin. So again, molar depression constant for benzene is 4.9 Kelvin kg per mole. What is the percentage of association of acid if it forms dimer in the solution? It's a more different problem that is based on Manta factor and degree of association. So already in the previous classes. While in theory classes, especially in solutions of the I said that is acetic acid in benzene undergo dimerization. That's the best example for association of solute so that the abnormal molar mass is higher compared to that of the normal molar mass. I have already explained what you So instead of acetic acid in a given problem, the given solute is a benzoic acid. So that is dissolved in 25 gram of benzene. So that forms the dimers. So dimer formation through hydrogen body. So again, show the depression of the point. So your intention is to calculate percentage of association. Degree of association percentage is soon the candidate. Other kind of one che our your intention is to calculate the I. That is I value is nothing but Vanta factor. So first you have to calculate Vanta factor. Vanta factor calculate money to minute, then you can calculate the percentage of association. So, so to calculate the Vanta factor in this problem, so we have to use the modified equation. The equations of polygonic properties. The modified by using by increasing the factor is called as rank of factor that is I. So, first parent the data, so which is a solute and which is a solvent in the given problem 7. So, benzoic acid, benzoic acid is acts as solute here, and benzene, benzene is acts as solvent. Okay. So, what is the mass of uh, solute here? Solute is benzoic acid, the mass of solute is given. That is W2 is equal to how much? 2 gram. And uh, W1, the mass of the solvent, solvent is 25 gram of benzene. 25 gram of benzene, benzene is actually solvent. So that when you add the solute into the solvent, what happens? The freezing point definitely to be decreases. So, how much is depression of freezing point to be taken? That is 1.62 Kelvin. Depression of freezing point, delta here is equal to 1.62 Kelvin. Molar depression constant for benzene. So that is KF, cryoscopic constant or molar depression constant that is about 4.9 Kelvin kg per mole. 4.9 Kelvin kg per mole. What is the percentage association? That is percentage association that we have to calculate. Nothing but alpha A. So, what is the formula to calculate the percentage association? So, degree of dissociation, Vanta factor, as letter as degree of dissociation is equal to I minus 1 divided by 1 by N minus 1. That is the formula. So, what is N here? N is the number of particles which are again associated. So, here, so in the problem, they give the dimer. So, on the here the particles, here one the particle idea, that is what is the dimerization. So, how what is the n? So, already in the previous class, classes I say I have read already. So, that is n is the number of solute particles which undergo association. So, here in the given problem, this is dimer. Dimer is nothing but two benzoic acid molecules are combined together. Two benzoic acids are combined together, nothing but n value is equal to 2. 
FDS primarization of the cuticle, number of particles which are involved in association that is 3 after 2, therefore NVL is 3 after 2. Tetramerization of the NVL is 4 after 2. So, you have a percentage association by Kundra, N put out there, but I value by Kundra. So, to calculate the I value, they are given some data. So, by using the modified equation of depression of freezing point equation, that is delta T of is equal to I into KM into W2 into 1000 whole divided by M2 into W1 in grams. This is the modified equation. So, modified equation of colligative properties are nothing but by introducing the factor that is called as Vanta factor. So, here our intention is to calculate first I. So, therefore, I is equal to where are So, we will multiply grass multiply by one point. There are the delta Tf into M2 into W1 whole divided by Kf into W2 into 1000. That is equal. Delta Kf is given. That is 1.62 Kelvin. 1.62. M2, so M2 we have to calculate. So it is a molar mass of solute, which is a solute here. Solute is benzoic acid, C6H5COH. Calculate money carbon 6 in a ilon carbon here, total 7 carbon, 7 into atomic mass is 12. Plus hydrogen 5 in a ilon in a, so therefore 6 into atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. Next oxygen is in a, 2 in a, atomic mass of oxygen is 16. That is equal to, so you calculate what one we will get. 84, 12 7 is a plus 6 plus 32. That is equal to 84 plus 6, 90, 90 plus 32, that is 122 gram per mole. 122 gram per mole, that is the molar mass of salt. So, with the value here, that is 122 into W1, mass of the solvent, solvent mass is 20 by 1. 25 whole divided by which the air is 4.9. What is W2? That is 2 into 1000. So simplification one way. 1.62 into 122 into 25. That is 494. 4941 divided by 4.9 into 2 into 1000. That is about 9080. So therefore, what is the value? So we will get a 0 0.504. That is the value. So once you know the Vandra factor value, you can calculate the percentage association. Degree of association is equal to I minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 divided by N minus 1. Degree of dissociation I minus 1 divided by N minus 1 I minus 1. But association are like the number of particles that's why it is taken as 1 by N. So N and the number of particles which are involved in the association. That the benzoic acid definitely turned about dimerization. So that's why two particles of benzoic acid combines together to form one particle and it is a dimer. So therefore, number of particles in one in association are two. That is a value. So then I value is 0 0.504 minus 1. I value is 0 0.504 divided by 1 divided by 2 minus 1. And value is 2. So put one way 0 0.504 minus 1. That is a minus 0 0.496 divided by you get minus 0 0.5 so 1 by 2 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 1 is minus 0 0.5 again 1 here the lead so higher value compared to 1 by 2 so therefore minus value for that so minus minus gets cancelled like that so calculate mark on the finally 0 0.0992 that is degree of association so degree of association i could now you calculate the percentage association so, percentage of association, that is a percentage of association is nothing but 0 0.992 into 100. That is equal to how much? 99.2 percent. 99.2 percent. That is the percentage of association. The given problem is the What is the percentage of association? First, we have to get the degree of association. So, just multiply by 100, we get the percentage association. That's about 99.2. Two, that is percentage association. Percentage association. That's about the problem. So it is get degree of dissociation, degree of association, care that and tundra. So in mind the problem, you should calculate the Vanta factor first. Vanta factor calculate more by Kundra, you have to use the modified equation of qualitative property. So you have problem carried in a property, qualitative property, you have carried in other ways similar. Modified equation is money by introducing the factor I. So first you have to find out I, then you can calculate percentage of association. So in the given problem, so as well percentage of dissociation here. So that's about the problem number seven. Next. 
problem number eight. Nineteen point five gram of fluoroacetic acid, CH two F C O O H. So acetic acid formula CH three C O O H. The UPS name that is ethanoic acid. So it is one H is replaced by fluorine. That's why it is called as fluoroacetic acid. This one is five hundred gram of water. What is the solvent? Depression of freezing point of water absorbed is one degree Celsius. Nothing but delta T. Calculate the value of pressure, I, and dissociation constant of fluoroacetic acid. That is known as pH bar. Huh? So it will be the first question. Bar. The dissociation constant that is A A is equal to C alpha square divided by one minus alpha. So how the formula is going to be? So before that we have to calculate alpha degree of dissociation. Degree of dissociation calculate from the first we have to calculate one half factor. So that first the in the given problem first we have to calculate one half factor. Okay, question number eight. What is the solute here? Solute is fluoroacetic acid. Solute is fluoroacetic acid. Fluoroacetic acid. Formula number one. C H two. Here we have C O H. Which is the solvent here? Solvent is water. Tell us the data. Nineteen point five gram of Fluoroacetic acid, solute the mass quantity, right? That is W two is equal to nineteen point five gram. Okay, so dissolving five hundred gram of water, that is mass of solvent W one is equal to five hundred gram. Depression of freezing point, right? and when we add solute into solvent, what happens? The freezing point will be decreases. So therefore, depression of freezing point, that is delta T F, delta T F is equal to how much? One degree Celsius. One degree Celsius. Calculate the band of factor. We have to calculate I, and also we have to calculate dissociation constant. That is K A. We have to calculate dissociation constant of acid and base. That is K A. We have to calculate. So first band of factor calculate more by more. We have to do the modular equation. So before that, one more thing we have to calculate. That is we have to calculate M Q. So M Q we have to calculate. That is molar mass of solute. Which is solute here? Fluoroacetic acid. So fluorine atomic mass that is one liter atomic mass is 19 plus atomic number is nine so 19 is atomic mass so carbon here is that so that is two into 12 plus carbon I do hydrogen sorry option one three option two is two into 16 plus hydrogen is three is so that is three into one so that is equal to 19 plus 24 plus 32 plus three. So I don't know the calculate more for it. So what is the molar mass to get? So molar mass is equal to m2. M2 is equal to one seven zero nineteen plus twenty four plus thirty two plus three. That is seventy eight gram per mole. That is the molar mass of solute. First, now let's get the KF value. So KF value put it up. So the proper formula. So KF value is given. So KF value is a KF value. Is equal to that is water solvent. K value for water is 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole. So problem number two is that so when we put more water, K value is equal to 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole. First, what you have to calculate? Delta F. So delta F to calculate the equation. Delta F is equal to I into K F. I into K F into W2 into thousand. Whole divided by m2 into w1 in grams. So it is I. So I is equal to another term. So grams multiplied by one. That is delta T F into m2 into w1 in grams. Whole divided by K F into w2 into thousand. So the value is delta T F is one degree Celsius plus m2 value that is 78 gram per mole into w1 mass of solvent that is 500. So whole divided by K F value that is 1.86 into W2 mass of solute that is 19.5 into 1000. So that is equal to 78 into 500. So that is about 39,000. So we calculate more than one. Okay, we have to do more. So one sir, I am going to calculate. 
So that is 39000 divided by 36270. So totally we get I value. So I value is 1.07. 1.075 is the so value 1.075 by the end of factor. So once you know the end of factor, so what you have to get the number KA. So KA is nothing but that is KA is equal to C alpha square divided by 1 minus alpha. That is according to first we see 9 equilibrium. So the dissociation once the pattern is equal to C alpha square divided by 1 minus alpha. What is alpha here? Degree of dissociation or association. So here there is a fluorostic acid that is dissolved in water actually. So, acidic acid and fluorostic acid is benzene and dimeration acid. But water is not linda, that is under dissociation. So, fluorostic acid is dissociation under CH2COOH. When it is under dissociation, so this is an acid. So, acid is again put there, that easily gives the H plus ion. So, therefore, we will get the two points. That is fluoroacetate ion plus H plus ion. So, many particles are there after dissociation, that is two particles. That is number of particles of the dissociation n, that is n is equal to 2. So you will get Ka value, dissociation cost of acid value for the first, you have to calculate that degree of dissociation. So degree of dissociation of an elastic acid, fluorostic acid and good dissociation that gives two particles. Since it is an acid, it is easily used the H plus N, so it is a carboxylic acid. Therefore, N value is for the fluorostic acid, one particle are attached, H plus N, one particle are attached. So Ka calculate for the good alpha value. So what is the relationship between degree of dissociation and that of factor? That is degree of dissociation alpha is equal to I minus 1 divided by N minus 1. So that is equal to what is I value to calculate it? For that is 1.075 minus 1 divided by N minus 1, that is 2 minus 1. And that is 2. Number of particles of the dissociation. That is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1. 1.075 1 minus 1 is 0 0.071. That is the degree of dissociation. 0 0.075. So now we have to substitute the values. So what is the Ka value? So Ka value calculate more way from that. So alpha is that then? Alpha substitute more way. Then what is C here? C is the concentration. So concentration is nothing but E problem. It's a very very important. In the case of the calculation of osmotic pressure, concentration is nothing but molarity. But here, because the molarity term we have to consider it, so molarity I measure, but only volume term. But in the case of the elevation of boiling point and depression of freezing point, that is the volume term. So volume term will answer that, that is known as W1, mass of solvent and the conductivity. Volume but again the mass of solvent. So in the case of depression of freezing point and elevation of boiling point, what we are going to use, the molarity is the concentration term. So molarity concentration term, let's see that is molarity. Molarity is equal to W2 into 1000 whole divided by M2 into W1 in grams. What is W2? So W2 is given that is 19.5 into 1000 whole divided by what is M2? M2 is 78 gram per mole into W1 mass of the solvent that is about 5. So what is the value of molarity in the concentration of molarity as well? That is, we get a 0 0.5 molar. That is the concentration molarity. Small m, that is molarity. So, it is 500. Will you remember what is 500 one, sir? This is 2, sir. 19.5 one, sir. 19.4 zero. Again, 2 one, sir. 2 two, sir. So, again, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 2 by 5. So, once you get the value of concentration molarity, you have molarity and the concentration of the molarity is concentration is temperature independent. So, elevation of boiling point and depression of freezing point are used to the concentration term of molarity. So, that is used for the So, molarity is for the 0.25 into alpha value is 0 0.075 whole square. 0.075 whole square divided by 1 minus 0.075. So, in the calculation model, okay. So, in the mail, 0 0.5 into 0 0.075 whole square. Complete multiple multiple. So, what is the value of time? That is 0 0.00. 28125 whole divided by 1 minus 0.075 that is 9.0.95 calculate 1 to 8 we get 0.00304 that is dissociation constant of acid so result positive dissociation constant of acid so that's about the problem number 8
first thing that we will probably do is the factor. Modified equation is one of the factor factor. One of the factor factor is the degree of dissociation. So then you can use the degree of dissociation to calculate our dissociation constant of acid that is Ka. This is the formula from the ionic equilibrium. So the first we see. So degree of dissociation is ion minus one by n minus one. What is n? So here the given solution is fluorosic acid, which are for dissociation under percent in water. So therefore, for dissociation, there are how many particles of time? There are two particles of time. One is fluorosetan is the one particle, H plus is another particle. Then pregnant is equal to two. So then you can calculate half body if you have dissociation. So then, so we have to put the value. Before that, you have to calculate C. C is the concentration term that is molality. So in the molar elevation constant, sorry, in the case of depression of freezing point and elevation of boiling point, the concentration term is molality because it is temperature independent. So first we have to calculate molality, then substitute the values and get the dissociation constant. So therefore, the fluorosic acid gain dissociation constant is for the three point zero four into ten power minus three. That's about the problem number eight. Next problem. The two elements A and B form the compounds and the formula A to two and A to four. When dissolving twenty gram of benzene, one point A to four. When dissolving twenty gram of benzene, one gram of A to two lowers the freezing point by two point three Kelvin. Whereas one point one gram of A to four lowers the lowers by one point three Kelvin. The molar depression constant of the benzene is given by point one Kelvin kg per mol. Calculate the atomic masses of A and B in the heading. So this is one of lengthy problem. And also very simple actually. So it is entirely different from other problems. What I have done already. Collect the data. We have given two solute particles are there. One is AB two and one is AB four. Okay. Problem number five. Sorry, nine. Two elements A and B forms the compounds having the formula Ab2 and Ab4. So there are two uh, compounds. One is Ab2 and another one is Ab4. Here are the compound in it. When dissolving twenty gram of benzene, and here two solute are named one another. Twenty gram of benzene is one molecule. And the twenty gram of benzene is nothing but mass of Solvent. एक इधर सल्यूट का नेना इधर ये भी जो कंपोन बन रहा है कंपोन ये भी तो ये भी फोर दर एक्सेस इस सल्यूट जब डिसोल्व इन द बेंजीन अंदर इधर डेफिनेट बेंजीन एक्सेस सॉल्वेंट सो ये और डबल ओन इस द मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट वन इस द मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट ये दैट इस ट्वेंटी ग्राम सो वन ग्राम ऑफ ये भी तू � Mass of Ab2 that is W2 is equal to one gram. This is Ab2 per time. So Ab4 on the other hand. Next, uh, the freezing point by two point three Kelvin. Like lowest the freezing point, nothing but depression of freezing point. And right, Ab2 is a little under twenty gram of benzene. Get out of that. Freezing point is for another hand. That is delta Tf is equal to how much? That is two point three Kelvin. And whereas one gram of Ab4 on the end, so the two times gram of solute here, so that is solute Ab4 is the one side, right? Ab4 solute W2 is equal to how much? Again one gram. One gram of Ab4 lowers it by 1.3 Kelvin. So lowers the freezing point about how much? Delta Tf is equal to 1.3 Kelvin. And right? Ab2 on the one gram of Ab2 on the solvent, the twenty gram of benzene on the other, depression of freezing point 2.3 Kelvin is there. आधे वन ग्राम ऑफ ए बी फोर ना ट्वेंटी ग्राम ऑफ बेंजीन का आपका डिप्रेशन ऑफ बेंजीन वन वन पॉइंट थ्री किलोमीटर है। The molar depression constant for benzene nothing but K F value is given so this is K F value by point one Kelvin kg per mol. So calculate the atomic masses of A and B. You have to calculate atomic mass of A and as well as B. Atomic mass of A and B that you have to calculate. So first, before that, the atomic mass of the calculate must be known. J first, you have to find out the compound's molar mass. So here, what are the compound's formula by combination of A and B? A B four and A B two. So first, you have to find out the molar mass of A B two and molar mass of A B four. 
So first AP to current time. So AP to current time, what is the formula? What is the formula? Delta P of is equal to K of into W of 2 into 1000 whole divided by M2 into uh, that is W of 1 in grams. So we have to calculate M2 here. So M2 and M1 together, that is the mass of solute E problem mark the E to part time. Right? Solute AP to current time. So therefore mass of AP to the world. Mass of AB2 is equal to KF into W02 into 1000 whole divided by delta KF into W1 in grams. So, to the value, it is more than a substitute for the value. Delta KF is equal to KF is equal to 5.1 W02 AB2 is equal to 1 gram into 1000 divided by delta KF. When you add 1 gram of AB2 into the solvent, what is the depression of this in point? 2.3 Kelvin. That is W1, mass of solvent. Mass of solvent is 20. So, when you simplify this, you will get the mass of molar mass of AB2. So, molar mass of AB2, that is molar mass of AB2, is equal to 110.869 gram per mole. Simplification of it. So the multiply mark for it, you multiply mark for it again, numerator divided by denominator mark for it, you get a molar mass of AB2. Next, other thing you can put in molar mass of AB4 current, delta Kf is equal to Kf into W2 into 1000 whole divided by M2 into W1 in grams. So again, in M2 and the Makrana, M2 is nothing but AB4, is the thing on that, AB4 again, that is equal to so delta sorry KF into W2 into 1000 divided by delta KF into W1 in grams. What is the KF value? KF value is 5.1 into W2. W2 is equal to AB4 into AB4 into 1000 whole divided by delta KF. When we add 1 gram of AB4 into the 20 gram of benzene, what is the depression of this in point? That is 1.3 Kelvin. W1 is the mass of carbon, that is 20. When you simplify this, molar mass of AB4 is equal to 196.15 gram per mole. That is the molar mass of AB4. So once you calculate the molar mass of these two, in the Baker you know atomic mass is big. So now in part of the we have molar mass of the Kelly Baker. If you have molar mass of the Kelly Baker, so component is the container means the atomic mass of the Kelly So that would end. So atomic mass. Atomic mass of A is equal to X under the one. And atomic mass of B is taken as Y under the That is Y. So in AB2 to one data, so AB2 to one body, so AB2 to one equal. So in the e compound to molar mass is per the that is 110.869. In the molar mass per the data, ring for the sum of the atomic masses of A and B. So, AB to the one data, what is the atomic mass of A? That is X. Plus, atomic mass of B is Y. So, H to the end of 2 here. So, sum of the atomic mass of A and B is equal to its molar mass. That can be a CH for the one meter. The meter the molar mass is about 16 per the other important thing is the carbon atomic mass of hydrogen atomic mass into 4 per the one get 16. Other thing, AB to the molar mass can be put in the way. So, the atomic mass is going to be x and y into 1 into So, atomic mass of A is x plus atomic mass of y into 2 that is equal to molar mass of AB2. That is molar mass of AB2. That is equal to molar mass of AB2 is 1. That is 110.869. Similarly, AB4 is the primary. So, atomic mass of A that is x plus atomic mass of B that is y. So, it's the only 4 that is equal to molar mass of AB4. Molar mass of AB4 is 196.15 mol per gram per mol. So, again, what is simplified mark? So, this is called as equation or equation 2 on the equation. So, simplification mark on that. So, this is minus, minus, and this is minus. So, x, x gets cancelled like that. So, what do you get? Minus 4y, 2y, that is minus 2y, that is equal to minus 196.15. Plus 110.869. So the calculate mark on that minus 85.281. 281. So that's all. Then what is the value of y? So y is equal to so minus plus cancel out that. This is the minus minus case cancel. 85.281 divided by 2. So that is y is equal to that is 42.64. That is 
the y value. What is y here? Atomic mass of B. So atomic mass is measured in unit U. Atomic mass in U. So once you know the y value, you can calculate the x value. So x value is equal to the other equation one thousand meter. So x plus two y is equal to how much? One ten point eight six nine hundred to the So now substitute mark for it. X is equal to one ten point eight six nine minus two y value. That is one ten point eight six nine minus two into y value is forty two point six four. So in the simplification mark for it, two into forty two point six four mark for it eighty five point two eight for it. One ten minus one ten point eight six nine minus eighty five point two eight. That is twenty five point five eight. That is the x value. So x is in a u. So in the given problem, so first we have to find out the molar mass of the AB2 and molar mass of AB4 by using the depression of basic point formula. Then simplify. So what then? Mark the atomic mass can be given. Sum of the atomic mass of the elements in the given compound is equal to its molar mass. Molar mass of AB2 is equal to x plus 2y. That is AB2. X is atomic mass of A and y is atomic mass of B. Mass of AB2. Molar mass of AB2 can be given. Mark the given. So the number of units is equal to one by y divided by one. So y is the atomic mass of B, that is 42.64 atomic mass of U, atomic mass of U. Here it is. X point two five is one ten point one six nine. The other one, the other equation, the other one, the y value substitute mark for it. So we will get the x value. X is the atomic mass of Y, that is 25.58 U. So that's about the problem number nine. 25.58, 42.64. Okay, that's about the problem number nine. Let me start the last problem. The molecular weight of an acidic compound is 58 gram per mole. Calculate the boiling point of the solution containing 24 gram of the solute and 600 gram of water. The boiling point of water is analyzed in Celsius. KB 0.5 to Kelvin kg per mole. This is a direct problem. So this is a problem based on the elevation of boiling point of solvent. मॉलिक्यूलर वेट ऑफ नाइट्रिक कंपोंड 58 ग्राम और किनिक कंपोंड इस एक्सेस सॉल्यूटियम व्हिच इस सॉल्वेंट हियर सॉल्वेंट इस वाटर वाटर इस एक्सेस सॉल्वेंट सॉल्यूट तो निकला आपने कम कम ही रहे सो अगर तो मोलर मार्च अन्य मॉलिक्यूलर वेट ऑफ ने कोई तरह तो इस सॉल्यूट के मोलर वेट अंदर यम टू यम टू इस द 58 gram per mole. Calculate the boiling point of solution. T naught P is the boiling point of pure solvent. T P is the boiling point of solution. So that is T P we have to calculate. So when I put the boiling point of the solute, solute organic compound that is W O two is equal to how much? 24 gram. Then the the 24 gram of solute and 600 gram of water. That is mass of solvent. That is 600 gram. That is W. So now sir, get down the KB value. Why you want the water to be done? That is C naught P. Why you want the pure water? That is about 100 degrees Celsius. And now sir, get down the KB value. So what is the value of KB? So KB is 0.52 Kelvin kg per mole. So now the formula, direct formula, that is delta KB is equal to KB into W2 into 1000 divided by M2 into W1 in grams. So here our intention is to calculate what T B. So T B in the machine can be called delta T B. So delta T B in the machine T B minus T R B. K B value is given. So K B value is 0.52. What is W two? W two is 24 gram into 1000 divided by M two. Molar mass of solute is given. That is 58 gram per mole. W one is given. That is 600 gram of water. So in simplification. So 0.52 into 24 is 1000. So that is 12,480 divided by. So 58 into 600. That is 34,800. That is equal to TP minus TRP. So that is the value 0.358. So you get the difference. That is TP minus TRP. The difference. The difference we have to look at. T 